All right, guys. Come on, guys. Don't cut in front of me. In 900 meters, turn right on Highway 567. Finally loaded here, finally. We are just uh, east of Airdrie, Alberta, on Range Road 284. <clears throat> Loading uh, basically mulch and manure. Garden garden center. I'm delivering to Canadian Tires. Three different Canadian Tires. Right on Highway 567. So we'll drive into Airdrie here. Airdrie? Airdrie. Drive into Airdrie and then uh, south to Calgary. And then uh, kind of try to bypass Calgary the best we can. Take Highway 1. I think to... What highway is that? Make sure our trailer stays out of the ditch. In seven and a half kilometers, turn right on Highway 2 South. Totally hit that uh, post though. It's just one of those plastic posts. Uh, so Highway 1 will take west out of Calgary, and then I think we'll take Highway 93 south to Invermere, which takes us right past Radium Hot Springs. Just a beautiful drive, and I remember it being a tight road with the pickup. So, uh, should be a fun ride in the big rig. If it's not dark by the time I get there, it shouldn't be, I'll definitely record that and tack it onto this video or make a separate video I don't know whatever there'll, there'll be another video driving along that road so unloaded first thing in the morning today unfortunately couldn't get loaded here until noon shoot I haven't eaten anything yet all that downtime and I could have eaten something not really hungry yet. Ah, earlier that uh, Case IH was uh, driving around on the field, so he must be done uh, seating. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. Beautiful day. Rain pretty much all night. Well, how do I know? But there was lots of water puddles in the yard in the morning. And everything was soaking wet, so... It was raining last night when I parked. So it rained at least part of the night. We know that for sure. So I should be able to get to Invermere around 5 p.m. I hit construction. And this is a uh, Canadian Tire, you have to have appointment time, so I've let dispatch know my schedule, so we'll see. They'll get back to me. See if we can unload tonight or not. If not, we'll unload first thing in the morning, 7 a.m., hopefully. Well, it's Canadian Tire, maybe it's 9 a.m. In Vermeer, though, lots of parking in there that area. So we'll find a place to park there if we can unload tonight. And then uh, after Invermere we go to Cranbrook and then to Fernie. So I thought we would go Fernie, Cranbrook, Invermere, but dispatch says Invermere first. So I made sure I got that clear before loading the trailer so I know what order we're unloading. All right, I saw the 60 ahead and I totally didn't slow down. Bad, bad Juan, bad. Pit. 
attention to the road. See, even just talking to you guys is distracted driving. And then people think they can be on the phone while talking. Suicidal. Say suicidal. Hands-free is a one thing. I find I don't want to make any decisions on the phone. I just, uh, hey, this is what's going on. And we're having a pleasant chat about nothing while driving. Oh, speaking of, that must be dispatch. Got my hands free. Hey, hello. Okay. Thirty in the morning. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. We'll we'll go from there. Okay, thanks. Bye. So we may or may not get unloaded tonight. Apparently, they stop unloading at two thirty, but they do have a guy working there till five five thirty, and I my GPS is five oh four right now. In 700 meters, so, turn right on highway I'm told if there's somebody around, they'll unload me. If not, just park, undo my straps. They start on working in the morning at 5.30 in the morning, so perfect. Make sure I go to bed early if, if I can't unload today and get an early start. Not sure why we are stopped. This makes no sense. It's, there's no stop here for us, is there? Or is there a stop for the on ramp? Turn right on Highway 2 South. Yeah, it looks like there is. But you can still make the left turn on a red. I. Oh, maybe there's people going straight. That's annoying. That's bad thought there, bad planning. Hey look, there's a Canadian tire right there. Let's deliver there. Uh, for anybody in the US, a Canadian tire. Hmm, what's the best way to describe a Canadian Tire? I'd say it's a, uh, well, what do you guys have down there? Lowe's? Lowe's. I'd say it's a Lowe's and a Napa put together. Or a Lowe's and a, yeah, I was gonna say Lordco, but Lowe's and a Napa, or a Lowe's and an Auto One, or you know those automotive stores, put together. You can't find a Canadian Tire in uh, the US. I've never seen the same matchup. So I think the best description for American people would be it's a Lowe's and a Napa put together. Um, for anybody out of the country, Canadian Tire. They sell a little of everything. I, I just call it a hardware store. So they sell hardware, they sell appliances. So all your kitchen stuff. Um, um, shelving units and um, there's sporting goods, fishing and uh, hunting and, and then of course tires and oil changes and safeties and all the automotive stuff, car repairs. Not an auto body. Signaling, and I thought he was maybe just a reflection. 
And then uh, there's also uh, seasonal stuff, so all your Christmas, Easter decorations and stuff like that. Uh, there's also decor for living room decoration, um, bolts and nuts and all that stuff. Um, garden center, so all the soils and tools and stuff like that. So it's a, uh, it's a, they're big stores. Big, big box stores. And then of course tools and all that good stuff. That's a Canadian Tire. I don't know why those type of stores have never caught on in the U.S. Like in the U.S., the automotive stores are all small little stores. Well, it's, it's more than just a Lowe's and a Napa put together because it's also a garage. You can get your car worked on. And it's a tire shop. It's a... It's not just a oil change place like Quickie Lube or whatever. It's, you can get full mechanical work done on your vehicle. In fact, I believe in BC anyway, Canadian Tire is the only place in BC that you can get a out of country car safety to make sure it's safe for Canadian roads before getting a license. So they're pretty reputable. I mean they also hire rookie people to do oil changes and there's some horror stories about spark plugs for your diesel and stuff like that. Uh, kind of humorous. Uh, now, I didn't waste all that downtime I had today. So I had a good three and a half, four hours. So, uh, someone I know on Facebook, not a friend, but someone I know, acquaintance, someone I looked up to, haven't talked to him for many, many years. 10, 15 years, a long time. Started talking to me on uh, Messenger. It's like, weird, cool, okay, I'll say hi, ask them how they're doing, and very quickly it went to, hey, they just got a grant for $85,000, and if I would like to be interested in that, I'm like, uh-huh, I see where this is going. So I asked them a couple more really personal questions, and glossed, they glossed right over that and kept talking about the grant. I'm like, okay, let's go all in. So. I spent several hours talking to this guy and just always back to the money, 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 money. And it's like, well, I know you've moved a lot, so where, where have you moved to now? And it's like, hey, I still live here in Ontario. It's like, okay, awesome. I'm going to ask dispatch if I can get a route that way. Hour and a half later, all of a sudden, we kept, we kept talking about different stuff. I go, hey, great news. This, I just talked to dispatch. They're going to have a load going to Ontario. I'll sit, be seeing you this weekend. Are you busy? Uh, yeah, actually, I am. I'm actually driving over to Winkler. This guy obviously has no clue what he's talking about. I'm like, that's even better. That's on my way to Ontario. We'll stop along the way and meet on the highway. Well, I'm really busy. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's your job to be busy and have all these meetings. I'm sure we could find... Just kept going on like that. I kept asking for the thing I knew he couldn't provide. <laughs> and uh, so friendly, so naive, and so I was so... So innocent. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, the last question I asked here once I knew I could get loaded was if he... Uh, I actually just said, hey, I'm a huge fan of uh, James Veach. Uh, if he's ever watched any of his YouTube videos. So I haven't had a response back yet from that. So uh, anyone that doesn't know James Veach, he uh, responds to <laughs> he responds to uh, scam emails and stuff like that. And it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. You should watch some of his YouTube videos. On the right.
two, Highway 201 West, then keep right. James Beach, or just Google responding to spam email, and you'll find James Beach and uh, watch some of his videos. They're hilarious. So we'll see if I get a response because that's pretty much what I was doing with him. I was giving the James Beach treatment. He kept going to the money, 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 money. It's like <laughs> where we're gonna, I kept going where I'm gonna invest this money and it's like, it's only 85 grand. It's like, it's not really worth my time. And he goes, oh, you can get more money than that. I'm like, yeah, let's go big. It's like, you think we get like 200 grand? <laughs> That was awesome. I don't know if he responds to me more. I might keep going tonight. I did also message the person that he's uh, Im impersonating and let them know that he's getting impersonated. So, and I also uh, reported him to Bookface. So. We'll see. We'll see. I should screenshot the whole thing and post it on right book lane. face. It was just fun. This feels right. Yeah, this looks right. I think we want to turn here. I think I'll pull into that Petro just west of Calgary and do my load secure there. But yeah, I've had a exciting and productive morning. <laughs> I can't stay bored too long. Of course, I was playing Terraria on the laptop while doing all that. I've completely caught up with all my paperwork, so. Yeah, let's play some video games, dude. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut the video off here, and then uh, we'll continue once we get to more scenic mountain views, because there will be a lot of those today if the weather cooperates. Continue on Highway 201. The Rockies. Beautiful, beautiful Rockies. There are loads secure. The scammer didn't uh, take the hint on my James Beach, so I went much darker now and gave him a sob story about how I have nightmares, about how I make my money, how what I do for a living literally kills people on the other side of the world. Tell myself they have insurance, insurance covers them, but we know they don't have insurance. They can't pay their medical bills and they die. I feel so guilty about it. And if he does, if he has his nightmares as well, I have no idea if he'll respond to that or not. I know how they're, they work down there. They, people doing these scams, they follow a script, they don't even know what they're doing. Their bosses have told them that it's a victimless crime scamming someone in North America. And they need to feed their family, so they're it's like, okay, it's a job, I'll do it. Feed my family here in Indonesia or wherever they're placed. This guy particular is Indonesia. And they're told that the people they're scamming have insurance and they'll get, you know, not really stealing anything from them, they'll get all their money back. Of course, that's not true. People that get scammed, sorry, your money's gone. Money's gone. And in the U.S., people literally die because they cannot now not pay their medical bills because these elderly people have fallen for a scam and instead of getting money, they've lost money.
about the actual people doing the scam. Not all of them know that they're actually doing a lot of harm on this end. So we'll see if my sob story sticks. So we are on Highway 1, westbound. Not quite to Banff National Park yet. But this is where it gets beautiful. The big mountains. I'm not sure how far away we are from the park boundary. Alright, we have to go through Canmore first, right. So, we're still a way away. We're driving so much in these Rockies today, I think I'll shoot several shorter clips. Kind of showcasing a little bit here, a little bit there. I do have a whole time-lapse video of driving Highway 35 from Radium Hot Springs to Highway 1 here. Somewhere in my YouTube archive, way down in the list, with our... Maybe if that was that. I don't know. If that was another Matrix or even further back. Maybe it was the Exploder. Dead Man Flats. That's this little village here. Dead Man Flats. That's where we are. Until dispatch 5, but uh, I think we'll get there before 5 unless there's some pretty steep climbs. There are some steep climbs, but at least we got some cushion now. We've got about 15 minutes to spare cushion because we're uh, cruising here. This load is actually very light. They all fit on my front trailer. Back trailer is empty. Three drops all fit on the front trailer, so. And the front trailer is packed full, like it is full from the front edge to the back, but it's all lighter lighter product, really dried out mulch. Well, not, there all is mulch in there, there's also um, peat moss and manure and soils and stuff like that, but it's all really light stuff, light dried out stuff. just love driving Highway 1 through the Rockies. Just such a beautiful sight. And the video does no justice to the size of these mountains. No justice at all. These things are huge. to do the tourist trap stuff here sometime and pay for like a helicopter ride through these mountains. That'd be kind of fun. Go to the top of some of these mountains. two kilometers so we'll be entering the park boundary right after that so I'll shoot some more video a little further down the road you guys have seen the full drive through of Banff if not look not not too many weeks well it might be a little while back but I think it's called full Banff 
National Park drive through or something like that. It's a good video. Good video. Is it Bev? No, maybe that was Jasper. We did Jasper. I don't know if we've done the full band drive through. Maybe I have never done that yet. We did the full Jasper drive through. But yeah, I'll keep doing clips like this of just absolutely beautiful scenery. And so we'll see ya. A few minutes down the road. I wasn't gonna start recording yet, but I can't help it. This is so beautiful. So this might end up being a really long video. We're in uh, Banff National Park right now. Speed limit's 90. I'm doing 90. A lot of people are not. Like I said, a lot of people are doing a little more than 90. Well, hopefully uh, the red and blue bears uh, leave them alone and I've got no worries. Just go to the speed limit and you never have to worry about red and blue bears. Always think bear safety. <laughs> uh, this minivan going pretty slow though. If I was a tourist here too, I would probably be pretty darn slow to enjoy the scenery. slow when there's a four-lane highway when it goes down to two-lane then it starts getting aggravating it's on the two-lane and you have people behind you just pull out use the pull outs I believe this is an old hydro dam here of some sort. I don't know if it's just from a river or... Like I don't see any dam. So I don't know. It's hydro either way. I don't know how they get the electricity. It definitely looks like a hydro electricity building, but I don't know. I'd have to research it. Banff in two kilometers, which means Banff is really right beside us. You don't get to see the town of Banff from the highway. Uh, so the actual town of Banff, looking on the GPS, is straight in front of us, in those trees in front of us. And a little bit to the, to the left. That's the town of Banff, right here. We're beside it right now. town is off the highway. Don't even know it's there. <coughs> Such beautiful mountains. Look at that waterfall coming down from all the way from the top. Huge waterfalls. I can't see the top. I got the I got the video on wide angle, so you might be able to see the top. But I can't. Not from this close.
we go. We're past the town of Banff. We're still uh, 33 kilometers from our turnoff. That'll take us south on Highway 93. chilly last night. Plus seven degrees. Good thing I have bunk heat in this thing. A lot of motorcycles going through the park. It's plus 16 out now. I don't think I'd want to go over here this early in the year. I think I'd, on motorcycle, I'd probably want to go through the park in July, go through the park and explore the park with your motorcycle. That'd be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. So the town of Banff is still stretching out beside us here. Every now and then through the trees on the left I see a building here and there, but it's actually a pretty big town. like that most of the time that's a signal that they're turning off no need to start slowing down that early there's a nice big off ramp and start using your signal lights the second you take your foot off the throttle oh they're not turning off <laughs> my mistake just a slow tourist enjoying the mountains I'll give you that. Thankful for that. Uh, watch it for the bicyclist. Oh, it looks like he's got a like a foam noodle sticking out. Good idea. Good idea as a bicyclist. And he's giving room too, so at least he's not on the road. Foam noodles sticking out. Makes people give him a little more room. Smart guy. Another beautiful mountain. So different. We're still on Highway 1. We're six kilometers away from our turnoff to go south towards Radium Hot Springs.
there used to be a lake here. They've destroyed the dam. Now it's just the river. Kind of neat. kilometers we've got to turn left. I guess after this mountain? Or we have to climb the mountain. I'm sure they've got a valley for us to go up. It's been a long time since we've driven down that road. Jim Jess has taken the week off. She's got a eye appointment next week and since we don't know I could be sometimes I don't get home every weekend um, she always takes off two weeks when she's got a doctor's appointment of some type just in case I think it's an eye appointment Solo this week and next week. Running by my lonesome. Doing all my own paperwork. I know. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Oh, on the left there's still some frozen ice waterfalls there. It's plus 16. Must have been a lot of ice there. And I guess that's in the shade too. Let's see what this sign says. Hopefully it doesn't say closed or something like that. of Johnson Canyon. Okay, we're not going on 1A. Highway 93? Yes. Trucks over, all vehicles bust head. Chains, blah, blah, okay, cool. So where are we climbing? All year round. 
radium hot springs, 105 kilometers. my YouTube videos, the top five videos, the videos that get watched the most, all have the name Kokahala in the title. But these views are so much better. So spectacular. These mountains are so much bigger, more majestic looking. I guess on video it doesn't do it justice and Coca-Cola has that fame to it thanks to the TV show Highway Through Hell this 
this highway's got the viewpoints. I don't know why we've only ever taken this highway once. That's right, because it's way out of the way to take this highway. Huge detour to take it. Vista Lake, Lake of Vista. Holy smokes, way down on the bottom there's a lake, in the deep valley here. We're getting right up to the Alberta, British Columbia border here. Uh oh. Driving maybe a little too quick, overheating. Or if you were pulling out for the viewpoint. Oh, there was a welcome to Alberta sign. Welcome to Alberta sign, that's what that was. Had to take a picture of themselves in front of welcome to Alberta. Continental Divide. Here they've got a sign. So the Continental Divide has got to be the British Columbia Alberta border. At least a good section of it. Because the border does kind of follow the top of a mountain range, so. Cool, Continental Divide. Also the border of British Columbia and Alberta. There, we're out of Banff National Park now. We're now in Kootenai National Park. Welcome to British Columbia. this some more time. This would be fun taking a motorcycle and just take your time going through here. Take lots of pictures. What do we got here? Invasive species is taken over. Construction. Don't see a reduced speed limit or a flagger. Let's keep our eyes open. Slow right down. Oh, they're working on the side of the road. Got it. Got to slow down for any flashing lights. There's a lot in British Columbia. Even if there's no signs, you see flashing lights, got to slow down. I can't remember if it's 60 or 70. I think it's 70. At slower speeds, you have to go even slower, but yeah. I did 60. No harm in slowing down more than necessary. I don't think you can beat a view like this. Anyone have an office job better than this? With a window facing mountains like this? Yeah. I got a pretty cool job. Guess 
because all the water over here is now flowing to the Pacific Ocean. I guess in a sense the U.S. has really three divides. All the water goes Pacific or Atlantic or the Gulf of Mexico. The whole Mississippi water shed. Please obey signs. That's awfully Canadian lake, huh? Do speed limit signs here, I think. 70 bridge construction. Got it. Bugs, lots of bugs. Forty, okay. Let's go right down. That sign's messed up. I'm doing 30. I think I should have over 30 when I hit that. I bet you that sign's in miles. Someone screwed up because I, I was going still over 30 when I was hit when I went past that sign. Temporary bridge on the side here. That's quite the rough bump. That side's worse. Make sure we don't hit that. No post. Resume speed. Guys, I can't record the whole way to Radium Hot Springs, but like still an hour away. Hmm. Where do I hit stop, record, and start again? So beautiful. So beautiful. That's why the time lapse that we recorded going on this highway is so nice. Of course, 
soon as I start recording, I got a big bunch of black right in my line of view. so well I didn't see him until the last second, right beside the road. At least they were on the other side of that no post. But that's cool. Very cool. Beautiful river on one side, wildlife. Ah. It's a good day. It is a good day. Hold on. 
there, but it's, it looks like it's a campsite or something, or a warden station, ranger station. I can't pull into that. There's another one on the wrong side of the road. See, once you want to pull out, none, of, none available. <laughs> uh, oh well. Let the mountains go. So tall, we're hiding the mountains. Feels like we're starting the climb. Passed a sign a little way back that said no stopping for the next 15 kilometers. I'm not sure why we're not allowed to stop, but no stopping. Didn't say please, just said no stopping. Off to the left side of me, looking down the edge, is some pretty scenery. I need a 360 camera. That'd be awesome. I think I've talked about that before. But if I got a 360 camera, it would be useless shooting the video I do here. I bought, purchased the camera that has really good stabilization control. I am getting jostled and rattled and thrown about this truck like you wouldn't believe. The camera does a really good job smoothing out the video. Sony ever comes out with a 360 camera with stabilization control, I will likely purchase that. Sixty ahead. I'm already down to sixty. Viewpoint. So if there's no stopping in the next 15 kilometers, are people not allowed to stop at a viewpoint? You know, there's definitely someone stopped there, so... Well, we got a sign here, no turning that way, it's a temporary sign. It is a beautiful viewpoint. Shame we don't have a better angle of it, but if I had time, I would stop here. But I will make my destination today and unload, unload the first of my three stops today. Hopefully. Hopefully the guy is still there. If I knew right now I can't make it, I would definitely be stopping at these viewpoints. Here's once again a little sign that says no stopping. It is beautiful. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. I know I am. The next 15 kilometers, at least next 10 kilometers are going to be just gorgeous. I love this road. There, I'm going to clean my window one more time. This is going to be tight quarters for a Super B tight quarters. I wonder if it's just because tourist season, people are stopping and hiking and just clogging up this road.
<coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> oh, looks like there's another pull out here. Hiking, wheelchair accessible, camping, E. What's E? What the heck is an E for? Well, it looks like it's closed. They got it all barricaded off. I'm not sure what E's for. Oh, gotta stop for a brake check. Oh man, that's a beautiful lake. This one's a lot more of a yellowish tinge to it, but... Where's our brake check? Ah, right there. Warning, bear alert. Turn right on Highway 93. So it basically says that bears are frequenting this area right here, this brake check. Now, if you're ever going down a hill for the first time, these signs are important to read. So we've got 8% downgrade, 6%, 8%, there's a runaway lane, and then 8%, there's 60 kilometer zones, quite a few of them, all the way down, and then uh, when we go to the 50%, pool, that's where the uh, radium hot springs are, uh, then we have a 10% after that, and a 30 kilometer on the way down. So make sure at the pool we're uh, going nice and slow. So it should be a nice slow descent. I guess I left my lights on. I don't see any bears right now, but keep your eyes open. Yeah, so those signs are really helpful. You know what speeds you can come down. No surprises at the bottom with the 30 kilometer corner at the bottom and you're going full speed and it's like, what? I wasn't expecting this. Now I can't slow down to 30. So. Engine brakes on. Let's give this a shot. No one coming. Let's try, we'll start with a little, nah, we got a light load, 12th gear. We'll start with 12th gear and see what happens. I'm likely going to be end up in 14th gear, but... Start in 12th gear just to get a feel for it. Yeah, we'll go to 13th gear already. Not more bear alert signs over there in that little pullout. It's probably not the right time of day. On Highway 93. Just afternoon. Uh, it's probably around 4, 4 p.m. So it's too hot in the day to be for the bears to be out, but I'm guessing earlier in the morning and later in the evening the bears will be there. And it's holding it really easy at 13th. I'm not gaining any speed, I'm losing speed, so let's try 14. There's our first runaway lane. Uh, 
uh, just my call come going off, I can ignore that. At least for now. Next time we stop, I'll read it. Sometimes it's actually important, sometimes it's not. Not at all. But nothing's more important than uh, staying on the road, so. Ignore the call come. When Jess is with, I get her to read the stuff as we go, but we're close enough to our destination and I'll read it once we get there. There's our second runaway lane. Speed limit here is 90, so I'm doing 60. Don't think I need four-way flashers, unless I get slower. Once we get to the pool, it's my favorite part. Favorite part. The actual hot springs. Eight percent. There's a river flowing down here. <clears throat> I wonder if they add some of that water to the hot spring. Because the, the hot springs are too hot to jump into. They, they do have to keep them a little bit cooler than the actual water coming out. We'd hurt ourselves if uh, we jumped into the actual hot springs. There's that 50. And not too far down from that was the 30. There's a little crosswalk there, a little pedestrian crosswalk. Oh, I really want to hike that trail. Like, really, I want to hike that trail. Ha, ha, ha. It's tempting. I got vacation coming up. Drop Jess off at the hot springs and I'll go for a long hike. Nice little waterfalls there. Nice. Where's my seatbelt so tight? Another runaway lane. <clears throat> Sixty again. Yeah, the thirty wasn't till after the pool. And then there was that ten percent downgrade. That's pretty steep.
Be in the mid 80s still. Oh, there's another bridge for that hiking trail. Oh, it looks like a fun hike. Such a fun hike. lane only. <clears throat> yeah, starting to have one or two vehicles behind us. Because they're obviously doing 20 kilometers more than we are, so they will catch up. Here we go. Look at those cliff's edges. Please avoid use of engine retarder brakes. No, I think I'll keep mine. Better than burning out my brakes. Better than crashing into the hot springs. <clears throat> Don't want a big rig in the in the pond, in the water. The spring the hot springs will be on the left side of us. I don't know if you can really see any of it from here, but Don't remember the tunnel. 4.5, lots of room. Speed limit 50. Yeah, get on your side of the road, thank you. Oh, there's mountain goats, or mountain sheep. Bighorn mountain sheep on the left-hand side, so we've seen both goats and sheep now. Ooh. What's up with all this construction here? Ah, oh, Canadian Tire. I'm going there. Hopefully the actual hot springs are done. Oh, oh, oh. Got a big horn right on the roadway. One on the right hand side of the road here and then in the roadway itself. All right, guys. Come on, guys. Don't cut in front of me. The other two have stopped. And this one keeps jogging along the side of me. Nope. <laughs> Going in front of me, apparently. Okay. 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 Whoa! Where are you guys going? Come on! Where? Come on! Uh, Hot Springs is right here. It looks like it's all under construction. It looks like it's still open. There's people. People in there. The big horn. Mountain sheep are pretty tame, so gotta watch out for those. Okay, after the pool, there was a 30 corner, so let's keep that in mind and check out these cliffs here. for this corner. It's a 
gets a little narrow here. A little narrow. Love this. Okay, trailers are going over the yellow line a bit, but not by far. Let's see if we can keep it off the curb around this corner. Radium Hot Springs. Ah. Missed this place. It's been such a long time since we visited it. Here is the park entrance. Back to 50. Doesn't feel that steep going down when you're going that slow and in beautiful scenery like that. Engine brakes prohibited a $2,000 fine. Okay, I don't want a $2,000 fine. We're right at, the, right at the bottom. Just keep it nice and slow. Dragging my brakes at about 10 psi, a little lower than 10. Meters. Turn left on Highway 93. There we go. Now we're in the actual town of Radium. Uh, where's Turn our road lines sign. here? Got a message, likely from my spammer for a waste stop. Cool, that was fun. Let's head down to Invermere. Continue on Highway 93. Last week I posted some photos, well, for YouTube World, like three weeks ago, posted photos of me approaching the Mount, uh, Bighorn Mountain sheep, and uh, we were parked on the left-hand side here. You'll see a big rig parked here. I was parked right in this parking lot here on the left-hand side. Spent the night there, and Bighorn sheep were around in the area. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty cool highlight of the day. It's made my day. Definitely a really good day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, Jess is going to be so jealous when she finds out. So jealous. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow other than delivering to Cranbrook and then uh, Fernie. After that, I have no clue, so we'll see. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed all the wildlife and the beautiful, beautiful road. Thanks again for watching, guys. You guys are awesome.